Welcome to the Hookup on Music with your genre jumping host, Tony B. Welcome everybody out there tonight. I am your genre jumping host, Tony, and I'm glad to be joining uh, you and I'm glad you're joining me for this 4th of July weekend. A kind of a kickoff special into, well, a, a lot of things that we love to talk about, which is just awesome music. Um, glad again um, for the weather just to be beautiful, beautiful out there tonight. The wind is blowing in here into the rock and roll uh, expose that I like to call a good time. So let's 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 dig in and see what we we got to get started here. Um, just this last uh, Thursday and Sunday, the Stones, the Rolling Stones, I had talked about them playing a show, and they sure did. Um, what I enjoyed for uh, both of the shows that they uh, played was their fan voted songs. Okay, they got to play "Shattered" in uh, one of theirs, the, the the show that was on the thirtieth, the Sunday, and then on the twenty seventh, which was really awesome. They played "She's a Rainbow," which was really really cool. Um, I liked also that in the middle of their set, there was this, this, you need some Keith. You need the Keith on vocal songs. A new song on the new album, Tell Me Straight, uh, back when Hackney Diamonds came out, I told everybody out there just just how awesome the album was. And this just a great, great vocal performance, uh, Tell Me Straight by Keith Richards. Really, really, really awesome. If you're curious, just really quick, what other Keith songs did he sing? Was a little TNA. I always loved the name of that track. And Happy from... um, the uh, great exile on main street album but again um two very very positive uh viewed shows um nothing but rave reviews for the stones um on the 27th betty levette opened up uh with a seven song set that really honestly got rave reviews really 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 awesome to uh to, to get a little bit of that it's also cool that uh during midnight rambler they threw in a little sweet home chicago always got to go for a little bit of that and then laney wilson um opened up the uh june 30th show which is really really cool because uh was not familiar with the work went back and dug into it because she joined them on stage for dead flowers just really really awesome again as always to see the stones just really pounding that pavement and, and putting on good shows still because again you don't know when the last time you'll be able to see them so if you got out there to catch those shows then you'll know that magic in which i am speaking of um let's go into a new release or a new band or uh, something new that has been brought to my uh, attention and recently i was in a record shop um in downtown chicago and uh out of nowhere this song just comes on by this band and i was like who is this and i do a little bit of research i go up to the front uh counter which i love to do i've been doing since i was a kid at the old sam goody and i say who sings this song and you know what the guy says the guy says it's a band called future nobodies never have heard of them but man this song really really kicks <laughs> Really, really awesome. If you have not got a chance, they uh, last year played Riot Fest. Um, really, really awesome set that got a lot of rave reviews. Um, their sound is definitely shaped by artists like The Cure, Depeche Mode, Erasure, New Order. Um, but just a really, really, really awesome just a sound, awesome vocal sound, which is 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 something that you're you're looking for and you're looking to to dig deeper. And honestly, they uh, I ended up staying into the uh, record shop for quite a few minutes because my wife was looking at a store next door and I didn't want to bother her. And they just kept spinning uh, tracks off of uh, off of this album of theirs, which is definitely something that I think you should dig into if you have not had the opportunity yet. And uh, because honestly. Hotel de la Murte, de la Murte, Murte, I think I'm pronouncing it right, is the name of their album. And um, honestly, it's 10 songs, 31 minutes. You're not going to, uh, to be disappointed. It's tracks titled Blackout, Ecstasy, Someone, Feel It All are definitely worth uh, digging deep into. Um, if I had any uh, say so in it, these guys would be played all over the place because honestly, it's a. a, a a different spin on a sound that I think a lot of people enjoy. And honestly, the vocal stylings on this album is definitely, um, you know, just, 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 just great. Just, just, just great all around. Um, 
uh, the vocals, okay? Uh, vocals, guitar is uh, Jessica Kavar BS. I think I pronounced it correctly. Um, again, and Cesar Cell, Keita Alvarez on bass and vocals, just definitely uh, lots of influences, okay? Uh, a lot of rhythmic guitar. Also, inspiration though to the band, which we've talked about on here, is the Doors. So again, it's it's just very fresh and it's very new. And honestly, um, we're we're big here on fresh and new, and we're big at showing you things that when they come across our table, uh, our turntable, um, we definitely want to share them with you. So please, 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 please um, dig a little bit deeper into that, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Um, for Fourth of July. Um, today I decided, you know what, we're going to dig into a little bit of that old blues, the, the good stuff, you know, just recently, if you had the opportunity to, uh, listen to my album cuts, we talked about one of the three Kings, Freddie King. Um, tonight we're going to continue and talk about the other two Kings, uh, which I thought would just be great to, uh, highlight this, this 4th of July weekend. Um, and honestly, um, you're not going to do wrong at all by highlighting awesome 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 and here here's a little bit of albert right here i i want to share with you i'm thinking about uh backing down you know because i'm getting up in age and uh, i'm really tired albert talking about the road talking about how tired he is and how how much he worked it he passed away sadly in 1992 at the age of 69 but uh, he was born in Indianola, Mississippi in 1923. Again, very, 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 very influential um, guitar player. Um, Tim and B.B. King and Freddie King uh, considered the king of blues, honestly. Um, not related by last name at all. You would have thought maybe there would have been some kind of some kind of relation here. No, no relation at all. Just straight up awesome guitar playing. Um Really cool uh, was some of was Albert King's uh, nickname. He was once nicknamed the Velvet Bulldozer. Um, he was he was he was tall, um, uh, six foot four. And some people say six foot seven, and he was about two fifty. Uh, he drove a bulldozer in one of his day jobs as an early career. So what an interesting, um, just an interesting um, nickname. I think it's actually pretty cool. The Velvet Bulldozer. That'd be an awesome band name or album title. Um, but just always listed on great guitar lists, uh, um, guitarist lists. But just just his career as, uh, as a professional working musician, I mean, he got started in Arkansas. Um, he was exposed to the work of many, many awesome Delta Blues artists. Elmore James, Robert Nighthawk, who both, um, if you have not checked out, please dig a little bit deeper into both of those Um he, uh, what's crazy is really close to Chicago. He moves. Okay. And you're like, well, where does he move? Where does he move up until doing research for this show? Um, to say that he lives, uh, moves to Gary, Indiana. Okay. Um, he even starts to play drums a little bit in Jimmy Reed's band. Um, but while in Gary, he, uh, actually records his very, very first single, the bad luck blues, um, with also with be on your own merry way also on that. So you're saying first album, First tracks recorded by the man, the myth, the legend are in Gary, Indiana. I just think that's so cool because it's so close to where many of us live. If you live in Chicago or on the south side, that's just a hop, skip, jumping away. <laughs> His guitar sound is definitely something, and that guitar that he played, that Flying V, I could definitely, definitely... Um, really get down with that um in 56 though he moves to brooklyn illinois just across the river from st louis and he forms a brand new band um becomes a huge popular attraction in the st uh, louis like uh, st louis nightclub uh, scene um we're alongside playing uh, with people like ike turner who isn't the nicest man but uh and Chuck Berry, um which is very very interesting to see them all crossing paths around this 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 uh this time period um he in, in um right around 69 he catches the attention of king records uh where he releases don't throw your love to me so strong um in 61 um definitely 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 we're starting to get into what we deem to be just just the awesome sound in which we love by albert king and then you just 
you could just uh you could believe recently we had talked about a recent documentary about stacks that i watched um him being on stacks uh record uh label very very awesome um they released their album as album probably the his most famous uh song uh, born under a bad sign um don't want to say any of his songs are more famous than the others but uh just playing around playing with bill bill graham's clubs um doing a really awesome cover on lovejoy uh, his 1971 album of rolling stones honky tonk woman um what's really cool and we talk a lot about on the show is albert seems to really embrace the funk you really gotta really embrace the funk and albert really embraces the funk which is honestly if you're not embracing the funk embrace that funk but just 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 going through his career and and seeing as he just keeps going through the 70s and then in the 80s okay um in 84 his album i'm in a phone booth baby i love that album title that's why i wanted to bring it up i'm in a phone booth baby uh really really cool um truck loading of my uh, a redo on that album of truck loaded of my loving uh truck load of loving um really awesome jam which again while i was doing research for this well doing research for the show or research for anything um if you're listening to the audio version or if you're watching here on uh, youtube you could definitely just you when you're when you're listening to him you're like this is why we're doing this this is exactly why we're talking about him um really 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 cool um his final album um which was named ironically after a Jimi hendrix song um red house was released in 91 um sadly dying of a heart attack in 1992 in his memphis home um but he was playing up until the end because his final concert was two days earlier in los angeles um really 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 cool uh the memphis horns playing when the saints go marching in at his funeral but uh, definitely, definitely looking at that Gibson fl Flying V from 58 that he loves to play is definitely, definitely something. And definitely, you're never going to forget Albert King if you go back and you dig into his albums. Big name. Whoa, Lord, it ain't no big star. Really, really cool. So please, 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 please. Um, we always talk about how much you really got to dig into some of these um albums and uh, let's go back to 74 because when we were talking about funky um i want to get funky is definitely an album that I, probably one of my personal favorites because he's playing with donald kinsey now you might be familiar with who is donald kinsey we've talked about him so much on this show he's right from gary indiana too that donald kinsey the one who played with bob marley the one we've talked about over and over and over um dig into i want to get funky it's really really cool the bar K's, the memphis horns all a part of this album um dig into it i want to get funky the song is really really good cross cut saw flat tire till my baby ain't got no bone really really good stuff but please 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 if you do anything just take some time um within this weekend and honor this classic legend because we're moving on to more classic legend the third you know we've done freddie king again check out that album cuts we've done now albert king now we're going on to the man who i once sat in a parking lot and watched eat popeye's chicken which i know doesn't sound very flattering but it was just really cool to just see somebody because i was there to get chicken myself brand new popeyes opened up when i was going to ball state the man came to town and played some shows and that man is bb king <laughs> Ooh, born in, uh, near Itabetta, Mississippi, okay, in 1925, a very awesome blues guitar player. And um, as stated before, the last of the kings, um, the three kings, um, just he, he, another man who lived all over the map, okay, and being able to uh, really say he was born on a cotton plantation in Berkeley. Um, when he was four years old, his uh, mother left his father. Uh, so he was raised by his grandmother. She left, they left, everyone left, and he's raised by his grandfather. Uh, does not hold him back. Um, while he was a young, he sings in the gospel choir, which is really, really cool. You can see where you start to get a little bit of your your early, 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 um, just 
just just just your singing um but you, you right here you start to uh let's 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 you know we got to move you know cuz arkansas memphis we got to go all over you know we got to go you know and a lot of people go uh his nicknames, you know, Beale Street Blues Boy, uh, Leighton shorted to Blues Boy, and finally to BB. So Blues Boy is shortened to BB. Um, he met T Bone Walker. BB uh, Kings once said, uh, "Once I heard T Bone Walker for the first time, I knew I had to have an electric guitar myself. Had to have one, um, short of stealing." Which uh, right there, he gets his um, guitar. And uh, he's part of the Beale Street Blues scene, again, um, performing with Bobby Bland, Johnny Ace, Earl Forrest, and a group known as the Beale Streeters in um, the early 1950s. So right out of the gate, he's he's playing, okay? He's playing, and he's traveling, and there's a B.B. King review during this time, and he's just playing the juke joints. Um, during one show in Arkansas, Twist, which is an awesome name, Twist, Arkansas, a brawl broke out between two men, and there was a fire um what's crazy is uh he evacuated with everyone else but later ran back in to retrieve the guitar he later said that he discovered that the two men were fighting over a woman named lucille he named the guitar lucille as a reminder not to fight over women or run into a more burning building so that is how he got that awesome awesome name um lucille and how what a guitar that's just honestly if you're familiar with bb king it's just really something that's sending it uh known with him wow you know i when i see bb and i see just hear that sound it immediately gets me uh going a lot of awesome albums okay uh it's 57 singing the blues 58 the blues you know you can go all the way okay 68's lucille um just awesome album cover if you get a chance check into that album cover um lead off track at 10 minutes 16 just a just a just a oh man just a jam 10 minutes 16 minutes 10 10 minute and 16 second song um bobby thiel uh produced that album um what's crazy it was his, it, obviously we've already said it's named after his guitar and um es355 if you were curious of what that guitar actually is that he plays a lot of people play that guitar. I've seen a lot of people play that guitar, but nobody makes it more famous as the one and only BB King. Um, really cool stuff. Um, but you want to take the time and you want to say, well, 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 another player played all the way till the end. He played till the end. These guys were touring machines. Okay. Um, this is what was really cool. Another story is he was an FAA certified private pilot and learned to fly in 63 at what was the Chicago Habon Airport in Lansing, Illinois. I go there all the time. I see it all the time. He frequently flew to gigs, but in 95, his insurance company and managed asked him to fly only with another certified pilot. As a result, he stopped flying around the age of 70. Also, his favorite singer was Frank Sinatra. Pretty cool that uh, he liked another awesome king. But uh, just, just, just really, 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 really cool. Um, always, 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 always up to playing the blues. And that guitar is just something that is obviously you really, really, really need to uh, see or to hear to just really, really get what it is. <laughs> Sadly, passing away in Vegas in 2015 at the age of 89, both B.B. Uh, King has just stated, um, born Riley B. King, um, which so his last name was actually was King. Um, just really cool to uh, to cover both of these guys, you know, cover both him and Albert King, a.k.a. Albert Nelson, how he was born. He was not born a king. So B.B. King, um, a.k.a. Blues Boy, was born a king uh albert uh was born in nelson so pretty cool awesome um please dig into those albums you're not going to regret it um now you may say to yourself i gotta get one of those guitars you definitely do um definitely get one of those guitars but wait till maybe after the holiday weekend relax jam out on some of these tunes it's not really going to uh, hurt you to do that because definitely um that's why we're here 
um, we're here to uh, listen and jam and, and listen to good tunes. And honestly, what are you going to play? Songs that uh, honestly, and all, all I could always keep bringing up and thinking about is you better be playing the classic from James Brown, Living in America. Okay. That is definitely one you got to play, you know, um, American Pie, maybe. I don't know. Uh, for a Fall Out Boy's got a song called Fourth of July. That might be one you might want to play. Um, Fortunate Son, Creedence Clearwater Revival always seems to be one some people like to play. Uh, what's a song that you like to play? That's the question. What's a good, good Fourth of July song that you like to play? You could leave it in the comments down below. Um, you could reach out, right? You'd see under my name, hook up on the music. Please, um, you know, um, we could definitely, 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 definitely use a little bit of, um, you know, just that overall, uh, just, 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 just coolness that is James Brown. So jam that song out. So please, please do. But, uh, also a little bit, we like to dig a little bit deeper tonight for just a couple minutes here. John Richard Deacon, you may say, who is he? Uh, he is the bass player of Queen. Okay, um, he uh, was a very, very integral part to Queen. Um, you may be saying to yourself, well, uh, is he? Was he an integral part? Yes, he was, because he wrote so many, so many, so many songs um, that were hits, like Another One What Bites Dust, You're My Best Friend, I Want to Break Free. Also, co-writing Under Pressure, Friends Will Be Friends, One Vision. Um and he was hugely involved with the bands like financial management as you could tell obviously they did not have a problem um, doing that um he though what's crazy is after freddie's passing um not not much hurt never played again but his contribution to queen is, is huge um those songs that he wrote were huge but i'm going to go into a couple more songs that i think are just awesome awesome tracks um, that he just does a really good job. He, he wrote Spread Your Wings from News of the World. Um, please, 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 if you have not took the time to listen to uh, News of the World, it's definitely, definitely going to be something you should do. Um, don't Try Suicide off of the game. Really awesome um, bass, bass riff on that one. Check that one out. Really good deep cut. Um, I always like to listen to Get Down, Make Love. Really awesome. He does this awesome... Um, just just bass riff and fat bottom girls one of those rides right off of that but a uh, great bass player john deacon um they call him deacon john on that first album that's a little bit of information if you were curious but uh definitely definitely worth uh checking into a little bit more um let's check out what else we got here what else we got up here on the on the docket oh yes yes we do here it is Ooh, it still moves by My Morning Jacket. A great, 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 great double groove. And a, just a great, great song, um, track list, uh, just all around, which we're going to get into here in just one second. Wings flown. Maggie Todd, Dance Floor is Golden, Master Plan, One Big Holiday, I Will Sing Songs, Easy Morning Rebel, Run Through, Rolling Back, Just One Thing, Steam Engine, and One in the Same all make up the great um it still moves by my morning jacket which was released on september 9th 2003 where did i first hear it maggie ta was in a budweiser commercial just that part right there i heard and i said wow this is super super catchy um i need to know a little bit more and uh knowing a little bit more i did and dug into this album and this album is a must if you have not took the time and listened to this jim james's voice is amazing along with his guitars um tom blankenship's bass patrick hallahan's bay uh drums members who are still with the band just really really make up this great 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 album golden excellent master plan is pretty heavy um early morning revel love that one run through really great bass riff on that dance floor it's great guitar um one big holiday though that's the one that i think a lot of people know really great performances on everywhere from bonnaroo uh late night with conan o'brien but definitely make this one that if you get get a chance to listen to it on vinyl or you get an opportunity to just listen to it anywhere I'll pick this one up it is one of our favorites here and it is one that definitely will make for a really awesome fourth of july party so dig into uh my morning jackets it still moves you're not 
not going to regret that at all. Just like I did not regret uh, just this past uh, weekend going to check out the one, the only San Santana. I want to make sure I get that right. Santana, the, the great Santana. Just a really, 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 really awesome, awesome, awesome performance. Um, you know, opening up with the classic, uh, just the just just the classic. Okay, they are on the the Santana County Crows oneness to the 2024 show. Uh, before we get to Santana, I guess we'll go through County Crows. Great, great, great show. Okay, played everything from the Rain King to uh, Colorblind, which was on uh, Cruel Intentions. Um, of course, um, they played just a really good version of, um, what's again, a really good version of round here, a little bit more slowed down. Um, but one of the things that I love is listen to a long December when it's the middle of uh, winter, but just really, really cool to hear, um, just such, just, just such, just, just such great artists just playing and jamming and, and Santana just sounds really so good. I was shocked at how awesome he sounded and talking about great guitars at the beginning. Santana is somebody who's, who, who, if you, I mean, he's, he's 76 and he's still, still jamming and, and Santana definitely, um, you know, being influenced, you know, again, who is his, who are influences, influences BB King, T Boone Walker, Johnny Lee, John Lee Hooker, you know, artist that we mentioned earlier. Um, the band themselves, Santana, was signed in 69 to Columbia Records. Also was part of the Woodstock Festival, which is exactly something that you, if you have not yet, check out. But their performance, again, um, really good. Here's a little bit of a cut of, of, of a piece of their performance. <laughs> Uh, just the way he sounds and that guitar sounds is just really, really awesome on this tour um, to hear a slice of it, uh, to play it for you. Um, I really, really wish I was able to spread the word before that I knew he sounded this good because, I mean, it was really, really, really good. Um, what was also really, really awesome is I was in, I was a little bit unfamiliar with who who is, like, in his band. And, honestly, he had some players in there that were that were playing uh, – Penny Benny Ritfold on bass, just a really, really awesome bass player. He's been with the band, uh, did 90 to 92, but 97 to present. Really awesome um, drummer, Cindy Blackman Santana. That's his wife. His wife is the drummer of the band. And honestly, she really, 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 really needs to get a little bit more praise. <laughs> multiple awesome drum um solos a uh, multiple awesome drum just 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 drumathons you know with a set list that starts with soul sacrifice you know and goes even a little cover of do it again by steely dan evil ways great oyakomo va um just just really 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 awesome and then some of those 90s songs maria maria put your lights on um the game of love uh, Europa, though, Earth's Cry, Heaven's Smile, still plays as great as uh, ever. And ending with that Rob Thomas song, that um, maybe I could skip that one. That's why I kind of trying to skip out before. But just a really, really, really great show. And uh, honestly, if you, um, if you get an opportunity and, and he presents himself again, especially with that amazing wife drummer and just, just the backup band that he has uh, just really, really, really great. Um, really, really made it worth it. Really excited to really start digging deeper into some of these shows and going out, you know, Rolling Stones had great shows. Santana sounded really, really good. It, it's it's 76. Um, what's around the corner? only time will tell but please everybody out there i want you to have a safe 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 um fourth of july this is a great time to just listen to awesome 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 tracks that you can say you know let's just let's just let loose let's listen to some of those three kings you know what i mean let's 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 listen to those three kings um you know, if you're listening to the audio of this, I really appreciate you. If you're listening on YouTube, I really, really appreciate you. Check out all the other awesome stuff that we're doing here on the channel. Uh, we just had a great episode on Donnie Brasco and at the show. Great, great time. 
Um, check out a recent VHS. Lots of good music and all of this stuff that we're doing. I talked about the uh, Freddy's Dead soundtrack on the At The Show uh, podcast. Who was on that? The Goo Goo Dolls. Um, this is the third podcast that I've worked on in the musical variety. Um, to, to, to really be able to keep sharing this with you is something that I really, really appreciate. And it's not something at all that I take advantage of. A lot of people get jealous out there of just being able to talk music it seems like when the reality is is there is no gatekeeper to music um again check out that awesome stuff check out the sadistic penguin studios.com lots of good articles on there television movies music all around cool stuff um really really appreciate you all out there um again have a very 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 awesome awesome holiday weekend and um before you know it, we'll be back next week um, we've got a lot of awesome guests lined up. Um, but until that time, please, everybody, have a safe, safe holiday. We really, really appreciate you supporting us. Take care. <laughs>